Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a high-level money-making guide. Our first method is high-level Barros, and you can make 2 to 3 mil GP per hour with about 100k XP per hour. And the uh, requirements are 80 plus combat stats, and if you have that, you should be able to do it. So to start, you want to go to the Barros site in Mortiana. And you just want to go to these crypts, click the shovel and go down. You want to click their sarcophagus and then they'll come out. You want to kill them. And you just repeat this for all six of them. And on one of them you'll end up finding a tunnel. And I would suggest killing all of them before you go through the tunnel. Because if you don't, you will have no chance of getting the rare drops from the one you have not killed so it's just a better chance of you getting a rare drop and making more money if you kill them all first when you kill them all and the last sarcophagus is the one with the tunnel you want to go down in the tunnel and you want to just find the route only one door to the middle is open or unlocked so you want to find the fastest way to get there and in this case it was pretty simple when you get one of these doors and a puzzle pops up, there are four different ones, or and these are the answers for all of them, so just memorize those and it'll make it pretty fast. So once you click the answer, you go through the room, and then you have your chest with the loot. You want to search that, and the last Barris brother will come out, and you have to kill him, and then you can collect your loot. Now, most of the like common drops are aren't that great. The runes are worth like pretty good amount of money for all the uh, common drops, but the Barrow's armor is where the money's at. So if you do this like per hour, one hour you might not make as much. Maybe it might make like one mil, and then another hour you might make five mil. So on average, you would make two to three mil per hour. Depends on if you're lucky or not this chest was pretty bad but like I have only done like 15 and I've gotten like a 1.5 mil drop off one of them already and you can do about 20 chests per hour if you're good so you can make good money on Barrows this next method is one of my favorite bosses in the game and it is Queen Black Dragon you can make 4 to the 5 mil per hour with 120k combat XP the only requirements are 60 summoning and you want 85 Herblore for the super, super anti-fire and I recommend 96 Herblore for overloads and 95 Prayer for the uh, curses and if you don't have that you can still kill them but it would make it much harder so you just want to take this shortcut to the side and then you're right there I think it's like 60 summoning or end agility to get down there or something like that so you want to go to the portal just pass through and then in the boss fight starts so to start you want to use your overloads and super anti fire he actually only starts fighting at 17 seconds so I usually wait around 15 seconds in before I actually use it just save a little bit of time and the key to this is you want to use soul split and, and anguish so you can also use deflect of range because some of her attacks are range and you just want to she has 25,000 health for each stage so once you kill one you just want to click the pillar after the first one it's the middle then it's the bottom left then it's the bottom right and then it's the one in the back middle and once that's done you uh, are done he, she does spawn some uh, purple little ghost guys, and I wouldn't really worry about them, but if it is like calling out some uh, words, you want to kill it because it's going to freeze your screen and then you get like hit by like crazy for like five seconds and you can't do anything and you usually just are dead after that, so... Uh, also on the last stage if they spawn four of them you really want to run because they have this circle thing that does like 
a thousand to two thousand damage each and it can just kill you in one hit so if there's like a lot of them being spawned at one time just run and try and get behind a grout worm or another one just like that ring there like if it would have hit the grout worm it would have done damage to that not me but that's just a little trick for QBD and yeah also I have a loot from 100 QBD video if you want to check out loot you would get from 100 kills it's pretty consistent and here I get 250k that's a pretty basic drop they usually drop around 200k so it's pretty good and all the drops are pretty consistent the last method I have for you guys is killing lava strike worms and this is one of my personal favorites you can make 7 mil plus GP per hour depending on your drops because they drop three insane drops which is a worm heart worm spikes and the worm scalp that are worth 50 mil, 15 mil and 30 mil about so if you get one of those drops you are making bank but also they drop really consistent drops that are worth money they drop ashes which are worth 26k each right now and they drop one every kill at least sometimes they drop five noted so you can make a lot of money off of that the only problem about these are that they are in the wilderness and they do require 94 slayer to kill but the XP is really good you actually get 200k combat XP and if you're on task you can make 200k slayer XP if you're not you can get a contract and get about 30k slayer XP per hour so you just wanna I usually take that route up uh, on that lake on the boat and then you just run to the west and there are these little mounds so you investigate them and start killing them I like using soul split and anguish and I range them all the time as you can see my gear is pretty bad because I don't really care if I lose it so you don't want to bring like some good stuff because you could die easily with PKers so you just want to kill them and pick up the drops it's pretty simple and another thing if, if a PKer does come uh, I'm going to show you how to exit and get out before you're killed so you want to run to the south and I like having surge on my ability bar right there just so you can get out faster and you want a ring of fortune or luck of the dwarves even an amulet of glory just so you can teleport out there at level 30 wilderness and then you're back to G or just like that so I killed about nine right there and this is how much money I just made off nine of them just coins worth a little bit the ashes are worth the money's really at this wasn't even like didn't get lucky at all nothing good they dropped like room plate bodies and stuff like that along with the ashes so 300k and just nine kills probably like two minutes worth of work and that's just really easy money guys thanks for watching guys if you could like this video that would be awesome it'd be so cool to get 50 likes on this video and if you want to see more runescape videos in the future just subscribe i'm going to be making a boot from 50 slayer tasks video soon and i'm also going to make some more money making guides some mid mid low high level money making guides part twos of those i'll also be making some free to play guides soon so just stay tuned guys thanks for watching